Yeah? Well, he's been making the rounds since he got here. I guess he tried to squeeze it all in. Oh, so you heard then, huh? Mm-hmm. Best student I ever had. Yeah, it's a damn shame. Things sure have changed since we did our time, old Uncle Sam. Yeah, <laughs> people still depend on us to uphold freedom. Well, how many countries are we supposed to take care of? My Aunt Mabel took care of all the neighborhood's children. Her own three sons went to penitentiary. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is I fought wars so that my children mm -hmm. wouldn't have to. Mm-hmm. Hey, 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 Zelma. How are you, Zelma? All right. <laughs> I get you some fresh coffee. No, thank you. I'm fine. Uh, right down there. Go ahead. Sit down. I'm really glad I got a chance to see you, sir. Everything's been so rushed, you know? Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> so, when do you leave? <sighs> Within the hour. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. <laughs> well, we sure are proud of you. Aren't we, Vern? Yeah, boy. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry that you have to interrupt your PhD studies for this, for this involvement. So am I, Colonel. Uh, I was very close to finishing. Well, you can resume your studies uh, when you come back, after this all blows over. Is that what you really think, sir? Do you think that this thing might blow over, or do you think that it, it could turn into something more serious? Now, you make no mistake, soldier. This is a serious set of events that could escalate into something unfortunate. I'm sorry to have to say this to you. I asked you for the truth. That's what you gave me. So, oh, is there anything I can do for you? Anything at all? Can you get me out of it? Zelma. I don't think I can do this, sir. I really don't. Zelma, I can't do anything. I'm a black man in the prime of my life. I'm just now starting to live. Just just starting to, to taste, to know who I am, to know, to know what I'm supposed to do with myself, feeling good about myself, my accomplishments. I can't blow out the candles now. Not now. I'm just starting to see. It's not fair, Colonel. No, it's not fair. I wish to God I could tell you something to make you feel better. I uh, have a friend, very bright painter. One day, he went blind, just like that. Some freak of nature. Ten years, he was in and out of hospitals. Finally, he got some of his sight back, but never could paint the same, though he never stopped trying, you know. Whenever I start feeling sorry for myself, I think about him. He doesn't know it, but he's my inspiration. That story didn't really help me too much, Colonel. That story wasn't supposed to help you. That story helps me. Now, soldier! Son, find your own source of inspiration. Uh, do me a favor, will you, sir? Anything. Dwayne. 